Hello, hello everyone, I'm Jackie, and welcome to our movement awareness for this Ascension body. <laughs> so, coming to you today to share a couple different techniques that can help you with getting the movement, getting that stagnant energy flowing, and hopefully helping you to feel a little bit lighter, um, as we sometimes tend to carry a lot of weight from worries, burdens, and stress. So we want to try to move that stuff out of our systems today. Uh, for those of you that were able to watch Lovisa and Tim this morning, they did a really great event to step us into the acknowledgement that it's okay to have self-care. I've been teaching that since 2012, and I get more resistance than I think with anything else that I've ever taught before. People go, I don't have time for self-care, but I'm here to tell you guys, self-care, self-love, it's the same thing and it is incredibly important. When you hear that thing, when you get on an airplane and they go, please make sure that you put the mask on yourself before you try to put it on someone else. It's the same thing when it comes with self-love. You've got to be there and put that oxygen mask of love onto yourself before you even intend to put it on someone else because when you're giving, 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 but you're not mm, fueling, hydrating for yourself, you're going to get depleted. So when you are doing self-care, what happens is you're fueling yourself up to the highest potential so that when you are giving, you're actually giving um, that service to others because you've done a service to self, love. I hope that makes sense. It's so important that we take care of our own physical, mental, emotional, spiritual bodies. So important. And, and how we are able to give beyond that. But it all starts right here. So the two techniques that I'm going to teach today, one is a breathing technique. And it's, it's what I call a double exhale. It helps to expand the lung capacity. If you ever have shallow breathing, if you breathe up here in your chest, this is something that can really help open and expand it all the way down into the abdominals. So um, there are two types of breathing. You're a chest breathing, which is like where the shoulders rise up or maybe the chest elevates and comes down, which is very surface, okay? And then there's an abdominal breathing where you actually, if you put your hands on your sides, you can feel the expansion go out and come back. If you put them on your belly, you can feel the belly push out like a balloon filling up with air and then recede back. This is where you wanna to try to focus your breathing because it's so expansive when you get it all the way down in here. It allows that diaphragm to drop down and all that air to go in and blow up. And then what we're gonna do with the double exhale is push it all out. The reason we wanna push it all out is because we get into that stagnant air that sits at the bottom of the lungs. Yes, it does, it sits down there. And it gets kind of gooey and stale. So what happens is when you do the double exhale, you push it all out. And then you can bring on the next inhale, you bring all that new fresh oxygen in all the way down to those, I think, the alveoles that are in the, in the bronchioles of the lungs. It's incredible. I will say forewarning that when you start doing this type of deep breathing like this, you may feel sick afterwards if you've never done it before because you're pulling all the toxins out of the bottom of the lungs and they do have to push out of the body. So drink plenty of water, maybe do a detox uh, bath, Epsom salts or something like that. So here's the technique. You take a deep breath in and here we go. Breathe in through the nose and I'm gonna have you breathe out through the mouth. Um, the mouth is for eating, the nose is for breathing, but in order to get as much air out of the body, we're gonna breathe out through the mouth. Okay, so you're gonna breathe in through the nose, and then you can breathe out through the mouth. Pause, and then push the rest of the breath out. And you have to force it out. You'll feel your stomach engage when you do that. Do it again, breathe in. Breathe out. Pause, and then push the rest out. And you'll feel like there's no more left over in that double exhale. Let's do it again. And out. And 
okay? There was that double part. So I do encourage you to try this at home as often as possible. I think that even doing it at least once a day, maybe twice a day in the morning and at night is fantastic for, again, opening up the full capacity of the lungs, get that stagnant air out and get more good fresh oxygen in. This is one of the best breathing techniques I've ever done and I recommend it to everybody. So yeah, that's the double exhale. So I hope you will try that. Okay, now for our movement that we're gonna do today with the body. So it's going to be a seated spine twist. And what this does is it massages the internal organs. If you think about a wash rag, and if you were to twist the wash rag, you're gonna wring it out, and it gets everything all the way into the center of the wash rag gets wrung out because you're twisting it, right? So that's what we're gonna do with the body. When you're seated, you can sit in any kind of easy pose that works. You can either sit cross-legged, you can have one foot in front of the other, you can be in a deer pose where one foot is back and one is, you've got an internal and an external rotation of your hips, whatever works for you. Some people want to sit in hero position, which is up on their knees and their feet, that's fine too. So what we're going to kind of turn to the side a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, one hand and you're going to put it behind your back. You're just going to anchor it like a kickstand on the floor. You're going to take your other hand and place it on the opposite knee. So for me, I've got my left hand on my right knee. I've got my right hand behind my back. And then I'm going to inhale and lift as tall as I can in the sternum. And you can do this in a chair. Your hand can be holding the back of the chair. Okay. And then on your exhale, you're going to take your shoulder and you're going to push it back. And then you're going to have your eyes go. Now your body is going to follow your eyes. So try to take your eyes as far back as they will go. Now what we're doing is we're twisting at the midline of the body. So all of our internal organs through here, right through here, are getting wrung out. Always keep your spine as long as you can. Pull the belly in towards the spine in order to intensify the massage and also to support the muscles in your low back. And again, you're just turning, turning and twisting, wringing it out. Always make sure you're still breathing. Don't hold your breath. No reason to hold your breath in this. And then we'll come back to center. And then we're going to do the other side. So your other hand again comes behind you like a kickstand. Hand on the outside knee. Inhale, lift up, and then exhale, start twisting. Now, again, the shoulder is going to move. Your eyes are going to move and the body will follow your eyes. Belly in towards the spine to support the low back. Massaging the internal muscles. I always go to the right first and then to the left because our digestion works from right to left. So that's kind of my norm. Always breathing. Grounding through the tailbone here. You can even do the double exhale while you're doing your twist. and then slowly come back to center. Okay, so that is a seated spine twist. When we are turning and crossing the midline of the body, we are also activating both hemispheres of the brain, the left and the right when we're turning. It helps bring harmony back into the left and right hemispheres by doing anything that you're twisting and crossing the midline. That happens if you're crossing your arms, uh, crossing your legs, or again, turning and twisting the body. All right. Well, wishing you guys a wonderful weekend. Ah, I just have to take a deep breath. It's been, it's been, yeah, <laughs> so much going on. It feels like it's all planetary and a lot of collective stuff. So these postures and this breathing can be very beneficial in helping you guys uh, to maintain Oh, our level of neutrality so that we can keep moving forward. So have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.